Hi, this is Lars with Clean Air Gardening, and today I'm going to tell you about the Brill Luxus 38 and the Luxus 33. Uh, this is a 38 right here that I have. The 33 is very similar, except for that it's a little bit narrower. It has a 33 centimeter wide cut, whereas this mower has a 38 centimeter wide cut. Uh, 38 centimeters is about 15 and a half inches. Uh, this Brill mower is made in Germany. It uh, weighs about 17 pounds. So look, I'm lifting it up with one finger here. It has a cutting range that goes from uh, 14 millimeters to 45 millimeters. And in inches, that's about 0.7 inches, so a little bit under an inch, to uh, 1.8 inches is the maximum cut, which is uh, right around, you know, for all practical purposes, that's about two inches. So uh, if you want to keep your grass super high, like a three inch cut or something like that, I recommend going with the, uh, the Scott's Classic instead, which does have a three inch maximum cut. Um, the only thing that you want to avoid with the Brill is uh, if you've got Zoysia, Bermuda, or St. Augustine grasses, uh, they don't tend to do very well with the Brill. Uh, if you're in the northern half of the country, Usually you're going to do really well with the brill, uh, or if you have, you know, a fescue or a rye or, you know, some kind of a, a grass that's not a St. Augustine, Bermuda, or Zoysia, you're typically going to do great with the brill. It has five blades. They're flame-hardened, welded steel blades. Uh, so the other cool thing about this brill is that uh, it's actually a silent cut design, which means that the blade is not going to scrape against the cutter bar. Uh, it, instead, it's going to miss the cutter bar by just less than a millimeter, so it's sort of cutting the grass like scissors. Uh, since there's no metal-on-metal -metal contact, the blades, and since it's hardened steel blades, you can go probably a decade before you're ever going to have to bother with uh, sharpening or anything like that. Really, you just adjust the brill instead of sharpening it. Uh, you just want to make sure that you always have that blade where it's missing by just less than a millimeter, and uh, it's really quite a simple adjustment. There's two bolts right here. They're spring-loaded bolts that hold the cutter bar in place. And uh, to adjust them, you're just going to need to get an adjustable wrench. And what I do, the easiest way to keep these things adjusted is you just tighten the bolt down until you hear clicking when you spin the reel, because then you're having metal-on-metal -metal contact. And then you just ease off just a tad where it's no longer any clicking and uh, your blades are going to be perfectly adjusted. So if after two or three years it feels like the mower isn't cutting as well as it used to be, uh, it's probably because you just need to do this quick adjustment that takes about two minutes. The Brill is easy to adjust the cutting height. All you do is there's two of these orange handles, one on each side. You'll just loosen them and then you get the, get the height where you want it. Make sure it matches on both sides and uh, tighten it back and then you're done. As far as maintenance goes, the only real thing that you need to do with this is every once in a while if you get like a silicone spray lubricant, you can pick, typically pick that up for $2 a can at any you know, uh, big box or hardware store or something like that. Just spray off the blades every once in a while. Uh, it has sealed bearings so you don't have to worry about the bearings really. Uh, it's got a plastic wheel, so there's no rust or anything like that. So as long as you keep those blades sort of uh, sprayed off every couple of months or something like that, that's really the only maintenance that this mower requires. That's the Brill Luxus 38 and the Luxus 33. They're a great mower. Uh, I, I totally recommend if if you got a small yard, uh, you should switch to a real mower. Why don't you give them a try?